Brothers and sisters, good afternoon. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Wednesday, January 13th. Hope that you are having a good hump day and that your week is going well. Uh, one quick announcement for you today. This Sunday, January 17th, we will be resuming in-person worship in our sanctuary uh, alongside our online worship on YouTube and Facebook. If you choose to join us in person, we do continue to ask that you wear a mask and we will have some socially distant seating uh, between family groups. So just resuming what we have been doing for several months now. Uh, so just wanted to let you know about that and hope that you can make the best choice for yourself and your family. Uh, today, as we think about what it means for us to be unified in God's spirit as we seek God's purposes and calling in our life, uh, I want to read for you from the second chapter of Philippians, verses 1 through 11, a uh, well-known passage that reminds us what it means to be unified with each other and unified with the mind of Christ so that we can accomplish what God sets forth for us. So listen for these verses from Philippians 2. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today we join our hearts together as we pray for those who are seeking our prayers. We pray for Amy Houston. Danny Roy, Teresa Anderson, Eddie Sanders, Emma Prophet, Zay Camper, Gary Morris, Jerry Graves, Kay Simpson, Kelly Odom, Larry Willis, Mary Jean Butters, Myron Mayhem, Paul Schlecht, Roger Williams, Sam Banks, Terry White, Thomas and Kelly Blankenship, Vivian Bowen, Bill Bobbitt, Gary Pope, Ross Wilson, Tom Riney. Please, and for all of those that we lift in our hearts to God, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray that you guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Together we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who work for peace and justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for all workers as they go about their tasks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders at every level, Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the communion of all the saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray together using the words that Jesus himself has taught us as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Look forward to praying with you tomorrow.